the Alphabet Mafia is getting bolder and bolder and bolder. So basically, a 13-year-old girl was given a garment called a chest binder. For those of you that are familiar with that, it's basically like a, a, a top that goes over a woman's breast to flatten them and make them less visible. Because I guess this girl is going through some mental stuff where she wants to look more boyish. It, it's it's very, very inappropriate for a school social worker to be giving out a chest binder to anybody's child. The mother was infuriated. Here goes the footage. A mean mother demanding public school officials resign after her daughter was advised by school workers to wear a chest binder and not tell her parents that she was gender transitioning. But the school board was quick to dismiss angry parents and community members who spoke out. Watch. Who among us did not feel like an alien in our own bodies in early adolescence? Putting kids on a path of gender transition. Thank you so much. Your time is up. I'm very, very concerned about this little girl that had a chest binder. I'm going to ask that we stick to issues at hand and, and not do speculation around uh, health and well being at this board meeting. Yeah. It's not germane to education. Mm. The mother demanding action, Amber Levine, is here with us now. And just by way of clarification, a chest binder, for those that don't know, is a medical device used to flatten the appearance of breasts in females who are uncomfortable with the appearance of their chest. With that said, the timeline, Amber, as you know, is very important here. Walk us through what happened. Sure. So uh, early December, I found a, a breast binder in, in my daughter's bedroom. I went to the superintendent and principal to express concern about this. Initially, they, they agreed. They expressed great concern. Uh, and then they kind of scaled back and defended the social worker. Okay. Have you heard from the school since? Um, not really, other than the, the letters that the school board has, has released to the public. Here's the problem. This should be an issue for you and your daughter, your daughter and your family to work through together. Why would a social worker want to keep that a secret from you, this girl's mom? Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. When you work with, with children in a school setting um, as a social worker, you don't just work with kids. You work with kids and their families. Now, this situation should be borderline criminal. You could actually be harming that young girl's breast. I am not a doctor, but I am very familiar with the human body. And a woman's breast uh, has something called lymphatic flow, for those of y'all that don't know. I'm not an expert on the woman's breast as far as, you know, what goes on inside of them. But it's actually not even good for a woman to wear bras all day, even though they want their breast to sit up. This is a 13-year-old child, so I can just imagine the potential damage being done to her young developing body with this chest binder on. That's just freaking insane. What, and this is Maine, Maine is a liberal state, but what makes this school social worker that bold to believe that they can do this and get away with it? And, and the reason why they, they keep doing stuff like this is because they're not facing any real consequences. It all started off with gay marriage. Then you start seeing drag queen story time. All this trans stuff. All this non-binary stuff. Boys competing in girls sports. I mean, it's like how much further is our society going to have to erode before regular people stand up and say enough is enough. You have people, you know, fighting back here and there. But it needs to be more. We need a national uprising against all this woke stuff. It's like a cult at this point. They got all these different um, subgroups in the alphabet mafia from the from the gays, the trannies, the non-binary. They, they want to usher in the, uh, the P word. They want to usher in pedophilia. We all know that. They got this term called MAPS, Minor Attractive Persons. For those of you who haven't heard, look it up. MAPS, M-A-P-S. It's disgusting. This should be criminal. 
There's no reason why any school staff member should be giving a young student any type of garment like this at all. Highly inappropriate. I understand the mother's upset. She is in the state of Maine, so I'm not surprised. I'm, I must say I'm not surprised that this happened in the state of Maine. But until we get sick and tired of being sick and tired, I guess it's not going to stop. We're we just not tired enough, apparently. But guys, I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of March. I would love for y'all to help me reach my goal. Hit the subscribe on the way out and we'll keep bringing you guys more interesting content. Until next time, peace.